drive night train number two. This one was 10 times nicer than the last one. What did you think of your first night train experience in Vietnam? I slept. That's all that matters. Yeah. You sleep bizarrely well on trains, or at least I do. With you! With you! But yeah, we're almost at Way, and then we get some breakfast, and we're gonna tour in the city. So we just made it to this hotel, and we have this super nice room with these swanky pants beds and sexual shower! Woo, woo, woo! <laughs> We like walked in and we were like, what is this? Why is this necessary? Damn. Neighbors. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Hello. walking around the royal palace however the royal family has not existed in Vietnam since 1945 Carolyn's change of climate from Japan to Vietnam is not treating her very well that's okay everything's very ornate here but it's more of a museum than a palace these days okay so we're finishing up here I'm not quite sure where we're headed next but we ended up doing a big tour of the entire complex and then we learned about all the different Vietnamese Vietnamese kings and the um, emperors so basically it was an emperor until Vietnam lost control of Laos and Cambodia um, so that's pretty cool and yeah it was interesting because there was a big um, battle I guess here during the Vietnamese war so it's really interesting because on the walls of the citadel you can see bullet holes from the Americans shooting at the Viet Cong but yeah, I don't know. Really interesting. I didn't know that much about Vietnamese emperors and kings and all that, but yeah, so we're heading somewhere right now. I honestly have no idea, but I will update you when we get there. Okay, so it's now a few hours later. We just did that whole tour of the city, and I think I hadn't vlogged since we were at the old palace, the um, the royal palace. Um, but after that, we went to a pagoda, and it was really famous because it's where the temple, um, it's the temple where the monk who burned himself as alive to protest the Vietnam War practiced. Um, it's like that really famous, famous photo. Um, but so there's a little museum to him there. And then we went to see the tomb of the ninth king of Vietnam. And so we walked around there. It was really peaceful because it was out kind of in the middle of nowhere, um, a little bit outside the city. And it was just really glorious and really grand. It was interesting because it was a mix of the Chinese and French architecture based on when he died. Um, and yeah, now we're going out to dinner. Um, I think I'll end this now, but... Yeah, tomorrow we're going to Hoi An, so see you tomorrow.